Welcome back to Mod YouTube. I can assure you if you uh, have stayed till this point, uh, congratulations, you're on your way to creating a top notch brand. So, very quickly, if you have not watched Module One, I would like to watch Module One because this is a uh, this is Module Two, and obviously, I'll be referring to some topics uh, from Module One. So, let's just get started very quickly. Okay, so we'll be talking about the function of the skin and skin types in this module. The skin protects us from microbes and elements, helps regulate body temperature and permits the sensation of touch, heat and cold. Obviously, we all know like the function of the skin, right? So this is just a very quick recap. Also, I mentioned in the last module that you uh, need to go online and just basically study about the skin because it's a really broad topic and we cannot cover it in a very short period of time. However, I will just be talking about the skin as it uh, uh, pertaining to the very important things when it comes to skincare formulation, cosmetic formulation. So uh, basically, people say there are four basic types of skin. So we have the normal, dry, oily and combination skin which is represented in the uh, picture you can see so we have oily uh, we have dry oily sensitive and combination skin however uh, according to dr leslie Bauman, there are 16 skin types and these are the skin types i like to teach in my cosmetic formulation cost because you know no two dry skin types are the same kind of and this is what the 16 Bauman uh, skin types uh, tries to explain basically so if you have a dry skin and you have maybe a cousin or a friend that has dry skin both dry skin are not the same so this is why uh I would rather teach the 16 Bauman skin type than the four basic skin types. But basically, uh, 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 is divided into four, right? But there's a lot to dry skin, there's a lot to oily skin, there's a lot to sensitive skin, and we will be taking this in this class. Okay, so... Um, we are jumping into the 16 Bauman skin types now very quickly. Uh, this uh, diagram represents the 16 skin types. So we have, uh, okay, so the basis of the formulation of these skin types is from dry, oily, pigmented, non-pigmented, wrinkled, and tight. So these six basic uh, uh, so I'm sorry, L let me take that again. Dry, oily, pigmented, non pigmented, wrinkled, tight, sensitive, and resistant. These eight basic skin types form like uh, is the basis for the 15, the 16 Bauman skin indicator skin types, basically. So, so for the first one, we have dry, sensitive, pigmented, and wrinkled. Second, we have dry, sensitive, non-pigmented, wrinkled. Fourth, um, oily, sensitive, pigmented, wrinkled. Oily, sensitive, non-pigmented, and wrinkled. Dry, sensitive, pigmented, tight. Dry, uh, uh, sensitive, non-pigmented, and tight. Oily, sensitive, pigmented, and tight. Oily, sensitive, non-pigmented, and tight. Dry, wrinkled, pigmented, uh, dry, resistant, pigmented, and wrinkled. Dry, resistant, non-pigmented, and wrinkled. Oily, resistant, pigmented, wrinkled. Oily, resistant, non-pigmented, wrinkled. 
dry, resistant, pigmented, and types. Dry, resistant, non-pigmented, and types. Oily, resistant, pigmented, and tight. Oily, resistant, pigmented, and wrinkled. So if you study this diagram properly, you see that uh, it is very easy for you to come up with the skin types just by knowing the, the eight basic uh, basics we are using to form the 16 skin types. So all you need to learn about, know is dry, oily, wrinkled, tight, sensitive, resistant, and then you can come up with this diagram. Okay, so very quickly, we'll be explaining each and every one of, of the, each and every one of the skin types, just so you can just understand like um, the 16 Bauman skin types. I'll be rushing it very quickly so that we can cover this course in a uh, reasonable amount of time because it's a lot, right? So Bama skin types continued. No individuals have, have the same skin type. As several factors contribute to the look of the skin, these include, but not limited to, genetics, diets, lifestyle, environmental factors, aging, okay, I said diet again, and skin routine determine to a great extent the appearance of the skin. However, based on some generic characteristics, every skin can be classified into one or two skin type. This is because there are some features that are similar to some skin types by general characteristics. The skin is usually classified based on how much oil that sebum it can produce. Okay, so... Um, the first on our list is oily, sensitive, pigmented, and wrinkled. This skin type can be classified, can be identified as oily, pigmented, sensitive, and wrinkled. You'll find that the skin is characterized by having acne breakout, facial redness, or flushing, or even susceptible to skin rashes and irritation, darkening of the skin, in the areas are a result of the inflammatory problems. In some cases, dark patches such as melasma and freckles occur. This type has a tendency to wrinkle due to a lifestyle that may include sun exposure and or cigarette smoking. So this goes to further explain what I said earlier as to how um uh the the factors that uh that contribute to your skin type basically so very quickly we'll be moving to oily sensitive pigmented and tight oily sensitive pigmented and tight uh, uh skin is characterized by facial redness and or flushing acne breakouts or frequent skin rashes and irritation the inflammatory problems associated with the types are often followed by darkening of the skin areas that were affected by the pimples or skin irritation, basically I, um, hyperpigmentation, right? Uh, like the OSPW, dark patches such as melasma and freckles occur often. However, the skin type has a lower tendency to wrinkle than other types because of the increased skin pigmentation that protects the skin from aging. And if you find you are this skin type, it will benefit you to lead good lifestyle habits like avoiding sun exposure and smoking cigarettes. So because this uh, cause is like the 16 Bauman skin type is a lot, um, I would like you to send an email and request for the notes on the uh, 16 Bauman skin type. So I can forward the notes to you and then you can read up and send me questions if you have any question. 
also i have like an assignment for you uh and i would like you to also submit the assignment so you can submit this assignment and then request for the note on the 16 bauman skin type i'll be dropping my email address below and also i would like you to join our telegram community so that if you have any question my assistant can easily reach you on the telegram and provide quick answers to your question remember our goal is to ultimately be able to formulate top-notch products at the end of this class and you are going to need support even after this course so that i can properly guide you so wish to say in the future you can guide other people to formulating top-notch products so i'd like you to read on the layers of the epidemics acid mantle and how to prevent the acid mantle damage kindly submit this um assignment via email like i said i'll be dropping my email address in the comments and also i'd like you to join our telegram community so that you can be a part of our community and receive uh instant support whenever you need it so i'll see you in the next module where we'll be discussing the difference between natural organic and synthetic skincare products also i'll be telling you i'll be explaining i'll be explaining the uh, categ uh other categories of skincare products and basically so that you can choose your niche because choosing a niche is very important in formulating skincare products so organic is different from natural right so most people tend to tend to tend to mistake uh natural and organic and like it shouldn't be so i'll see you in the next class bye for now